So we're in the uh, sort of bottom left of the service area here. Here comes attempt number one. Of, uh, will Waymo go outside the service area? Good afternoon, Joel. This car is all yours with no one up front. And I don't know what they clean these cars with, but boy, it smells good. <laughs> there we go. Heading to 238 East Balboa Drive. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the help button to speak with a rider support agent. Our team is working to get you moving. Please remain in the car with your seat belt fastened. A rider Whoa. support agent will call shortly to answer any questions. What is this? Figuring this out. Your car is good to go. They, just, they overhauled the UI? Oh, cool. So the, they put the riding tips uh, video here instead of because usually when you start writing um it would show up as like a small little button and then it would disappear after a few seconds so you couldn't see it again so this is cool so we got car view map view map view still lags a little bit uh this is still the old service area in the map not surprised they didn't fix that music nope still nope okay uh Alright, well, I guess if you guys want the writing tips video. Hello from Waymo. As we get going, here are some writing tips. Make sure you're buckled in. Yep, even if you're in the back. If you're traveling with little ones or expecting, please see the card below the screen for proper car seat and belt use. We'll do all the driving, so please don't touch the steering wheel or pedals during your ride. For any questions, you can find helpful info in the Waymo app, like how we keep our cars safe and clean. You can also press help to talk to a rider support agent. In the rare case of an emergency, please keep your seatbelt fastened and remain in the car unless there's an urgent need to exit. Rider support will connect with you and provide assistance. Finally, relax and thank you for riding with us. Switch to car view, that's nice. Uh, well, I said switch to car view, it went back to map view. <laughs> okay. Let's see what other stuff they fixed. Right. Oh gosh, okay, so um, I'm trying to use a different camera app and it's not working, so I'm gonna have to switch to something else here. over here, arriving over here, and then stop and traffic lights over there. See, how's my driving? Yeah, that's kind of, that's the same, I think.
Very smooth. Nice. put the music back I, I won't be able to play it in the car because of copyright reasons for these videos so uh, eh. unless you guys want to listen to something that happens to be copyright free and not embarrassing <laughs> Oh yeah, speaking of which, I said I submitted feedback. Is there multiple levels of zoom on the map yet? Nope. There are not multiple levels of zoom. Okay. Looks really good though. I think this is the third uh revision of the UI I've seen in my time writing. just do that. So, nice reaction there. this. I think it's kind of annoying that the map view is two taps away, but uh, oh, so the uh, you can actually tap. Can you just tap anywhere? Oh, you can. Okay, so you can tap anywhere to just bring up the... Alright, that is smooth. but So I wonder if them putting it here allows them to also put the stop, like put a stop sign right next to it if there happens to be two things to display there, like if there's a traffic light or a stop sign and then a traffic light. So it'll get, it could display both of them. I could see that being a thing. Or like a railroad crossing. There's no railroad crossings in the service area currently that I know of. There used to be with the old service area. but. Like, this is the old service area. 
uh, and the railroad tracks like run right up here. That's interesting. Which makes me think my, my attempt here, because we're going to try and take it out of the fully self-driving service area, or I, I bet you it might three-point turn, or it might just ignore it and go around. Um, well, 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 we'll see. This is only attempt one. I have a few more spots to try. Oh, there we go. Nice, consistent... Uh, Okay, yeah, a little bit of object permanence there. With the truck passing in front of the view of the bicyclist. And we are a little bit farther away than the other uh, example. Alright, very nice. stoplight and then couldn't quite read it yet and then like once it was confident about the signal that it yeah usually it can read the signal before so there's none of that little bit of a hiccup there but yeah also that person is clipping their nails that is a bad idea couldn't you just have done that like at home <laughs> Not even see that cyclist so I mean obviously the cameras are higher up than I am but still really nice especially considering there's a fence there
though, but at least you'll, I mean, the more the merrier. So the thing I've noticed with the emergency vehicle recognition is I it'll only I'm thinking what I'm thinking here is that it'll only turn on the the red outline around that goes around the car uh, once the the lights on the vehicle are on. I think that's what triggers it. Now I know it'll preemptively yield for sirens as well as as seen in previous videos. Constant vigilance, and that camera is just gonna. Oh, okay. So uh, I've always wanted to see if it'll go through an intersection if it has a green light, um, and there's traffic on the other side, so it wouldn't be able to go all the way through the intersection. I know you're not you're not supposed to do that. I haven't seen if it will do that or not. I'm get I'm, like I'm. Uh, my best bet is that it won't do that. Um, still haven't seen a demonstration though. Is all this? See all that uh, lighter point cloud messiness? What was? Hmm. That's interesting. Got some guys on my right that are excited about it. Just staring at the car. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, museum. Let's see, lighter point cloud. Can you see it? Uh, might have to wait a little bit. But in, uh, I think in the last video, yeah, it was probably, I think it was the last video, uh, you could see the word museum, like, written out in the LiDAR point cloud, and that was kind of cool. I didn't point it out in the edit, but... Is that a gunshot? I hope not. Uh, hmm. Well, whatever it is, we're out of here. Or you might have backfired, really. I mean, it's kind of what I would expect for Tempe, but eh, no offense, Tempe residents. <laughs> about this new UI oh, oh is that it doesn't tell me it used to tell me what the car recognizes the speed limit as and now it doesn't do that anymore so oh well I mean I guess the easiest way to see that is look on the dash so I have my camera pointed at the dash so
Arriving shortly at 238 East Balboa Drive. Please keep your seatbelt fastened until we reach your destination and remember to take all your belongings. Alright, let's see. driving out of the service area. Haha. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, so this is cold hard proof that they have mapped way, way more. Well, not way, at least this, right? I know they've mapped more. I've seen them driving around in places uh, very far east from the service area, uh, which is no doubt annoying, but uh, there we go. Yes, it will go outside the service area and it will not complain about it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, where could we go next? Let's go to the Walmart and be done with it. <laughs> Destination updated. roadside assistance team is like, wait, what are you doing now? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to, I'm trying to trick you. No, no I'm not really. I'm just... <laughs> uh, let's see. Are they gonna... shortly at Walmart Supercenter. Please keep your seatbelt fastened until we reach your destination and remember to take all your belongings. Alright, it looks cool. It just covers up the, the map for a few seconds, which I'm kind of not a fan of, because I kind of want to see what it's seeing, right? 
for the safety and trust reasons, but then again, you know, I'm sure they tested that. Um, a little bit of a tight spot here. No problem. Nice. Actually, I'll tell you what. Oops, sorry. Gimbal. Uh, yeah, okay. So fair enough. We've arrived. Please check your surroundings before exiting the vehicle, and remember to close the doors after you exit. <laughs> okay. So... The uh, remote assistance person closed the door for me. Thanks. I was gonna do that. I just wanted the thumbnail. No biggie.